over here right now at Lake Piru and I kept hearing this deep, rumbling, vast voice. I couldn't figure out who it was. And finally, I realized it was the, it was the deva of Lake Piru, if you could believe it. The deva of this entire lake. And it, it sounds vast and magnificent, just like the lake. It's, it's incredible. So I asked it, are you the deva of, of the body of water here? And it said, yes, I am. Only its voice was much nicer than my own and much deeper. Yes, I am. It sounded like, it sounded like thunder in the skies. So then it said, what do you call it? And I said, we call it Lake Piru or Piru, but it didn't seem very impressed by that. So I said, but what do, what do you call it? And, and the deva of the lake said, we don't call it that, we call it. And then it used a very, very low voice, the kind that resonates in your heart. And it feels like a wave that, that's got a slight bump to it, like waves. And the period of the waves is like this. this, but very much lower. That's the name of this body of water. Well, I was talking along right now. I was really talking to myself, and I said, I guess that's the sound that the air makes when it walks over the water. And somebody else said, I'd say it might be a senior nature spirit. It said, wrong. That's the, that's the sound that the water makes when it walks through the air. <laughs> it might have been a Native American guide. Well, I have further word on the Dave of Lake Piru. I heard that same voice. I said to it first, are you a mountain lion? And it said, well, we might be a mountain lion. And I said, well, if you're not a mountain lion, what are you? And I could see a hand reaching down and patting the water. It said, we like the water. And I said, how many of you are there? And it said like this, we are five. Five, I don't know what, that like the water. <laughs> Sounds a little like gnomes, but gnomes don't like water, so maybe this is a new type of nature spirit and not a deva. I don't know. Okay, curiouser and curiouser. I said, do you, does each of you like a particular place in the water? And it said, we all like the water everywhere. And then I said, but what are you? And it said, we are the wind that laps the water. <laughs> do you suppose they might be zephyrs or maybe very large zephyrs? Very large spirits of the wind, or very old and sage ones. I just felt a gentle breeze coming up from the lake, and I heard that spokesman of the Zephyrs say, What's your name? And somebody said, Darm Darshan, which was my old spiritual name. And then it said, Darm Darshan. Here we are, and I could feel the breeze touching my face. Down there by the water, I just heard the voice of the Zephyr say, Oh God, Darm Darshan's gone. And then those children's voices said, Darm Darshan went away. Uh -huh. Maybe the children are the children of the Zephyrs. 
I was talking to that Zephyr spokesman. He's way down by the water. And I said, what a beautiful place. And the Zephyr said, yeah, it is. Heaven made that place. And I turned around and said, how did you know about heaven? And the Zephyr said, the angels came down and told us about that place. I'm going away from the lake just now and down the hill and I heard that being say, Dear heart, would you thank Dharam Darshan? And then a little fly buzzed past my right ear and said in a tiny voice, Thank you, Dharam Darshan.